guys welcome to our channel today our lab is analyze data with gemini assistant click on start lab right click here open link in incognito window click on next copy the password paste it here click on next I understand Then the Google Cloud Console window will open. I agree and continue. Now let us do the task one. The first task is to activate the Cloud Shell. Activate Cloud Shell. Click on continue. Then terminal window will open like this. Just copy the command here. Paste it here. Click on authorize. And copy the next command. Paste it here. Enter. Next copy this command. Paste it here. Click on enter. Then the project ID will be displayed. Copy this command, paste it here, enter, copy it, paste here, and click on enter. When it shows finished successfully, let's copy this command, paste it here, click on enter. Then it shows here version 1. Our lab is authorized. Just click on check my progress. Our task 1 is completed. Let's go to the task 2. That is create a data set and enable Gemini features in BigQuery. Go to the navigation menu and select BigQuery. Navigation menu and here you will find the BigQuery. Click on it. Just minimize this window. Next, in the Explorer panel, for quick lab, our uh, project ID will be displayed. Select View Actions and then Create Data Set. Click on three dots, Create Data Set. So just copy this data set ID, paste it here. So location type is multi region. Ensure that here the location type is multi region. Click on create data set.
here you can find the data set is created now you have to enable the gemini feature so just click on gemini here so you have to select auto completion auto generation and explanation click on auto completion tool then it will be enabled just click my check my person our task 2 is completed let us go to the task 3 go to the navigation menu this query as it shall present now in the google console task toolbar open gemini here you can find gemini click on enable start chatting just copy the prompt here and paste it here click on enter Yeah, now we have to reset the chat. Here you can find your chat. Our task 3 is completed. Let's go to the task 4. Again, go to the navigation menu, big query. In the big query studio, that is navigation menu, big query, and big query studio. So here you can find click SQL query. Now just copy this and paste it here. In the menu, click extend current selection. Just select any query. Just right click on it. Extend current selection. Then it shows here about that query. Just click check my progress. Yeah, our assessment is completed. Let's go to the task file that is generate a SQL query that group sales by day and product. So go to the navigation menu, BigQuery, click BigQuery Studio and click add. Then here you can find add. Then in the search of the data source field, enter public data set. Just copy it. Paste it here. Click on enter. Then select it. Search for the look. The look in the marketplace. Copy it. And paste it here. Click on enter. You can see one result here that is the look e commerce. Click on it. Click on view data set. Now that, uh, now that the look e-commerce will open like this. Now scroll down the look e-commerce, then expand the data set. You will see the order items and product tables listed. Then click on the order table, order item table. 
click on the right arrow scroll down here you can see the order items click on it click on order item table next return to the explorer open it click on the products table you can see next use the prompt to generate the query click plus here to generate a query that is click here copy it and you have to click here and copy this and paste it here Click generate. So you can see same as like this here. Just insert and run the command. You can see the execution details. Here, query results. Just check my progress. Your task file is completed. Next task fix build a forecasting model and view results. To create a forecasting ML model in the big query SQL editor, run the following SQL. Just copy it, just press another one, just paste it and run it. Yes, you can see the successfully created model, it is also here, it takes some time. Yeah, it takes approximately 10 minutes. So, successfully created model named Sales Forecasting Model. Here you can find it. Yeah, in our project, you will find BQML tutorial. In that, you will find the model here. Yeah, select uh, the sales forecast model. Uh, just uh, copy the model ID here. Uh, copy. Let's copy this and go to the journey pane. Enter. Now just copy this query. And add it. Just paste it here. In the project name, just paste it here. Just copy it. Paste it here.
the summit. Yeah, you can find the result. Just click on Set My Progress. After getting 100 out of 100, just click on End Lab. Our lab is completed. Thank you. Subscribe for more videos.